Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and as of the recording of this video, it is April 29th and Samsung and AT&T has finally pushed off the latest software update for the Galaxy S25 series, giving us the April 1st security patch. Now, if you watched my video five days ago, this one was where I was talking about how the Galaxy S25 series was starting to receive its April patch, but this was for T-Mobile devices. Now, my personal device over here is unlocked with an AT&T SIM card inside, which means if you have unlocked devices, if you have a AT&T carrier lock device, the update was pushed out right now as of the recording of this video, which is April 29th, which means by the time you're watching this video, either you got this update yesterday or you're getting it today. And hopefully other carriers follow suit as well. So the details of this update, it's giving us stability and reliability. So the device behavior has been improved as well as the security of our device has been improved. Scrolling on down, the size of this one is 728 megabytes. It ends in AYD9, and it's the April 1st security patch. Now, what's cool about this one here is that the Galaxy S25 series has seamless updates, which means it will download and install and then do the verification, and then we have to restart our phone. So what we will do from here on out is that I'm gonna state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. If you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And also once this thing restarts, then we'll take a look at all of the new features, which will be the new charging animation, We'll also have the live notifications if you're listening to music. So then finally, I wouldn't have to have my little music widget sitting here. I can take that widget off because then I would have my music live notification icon on the top that I'm able to interact with either play, pause, or previous or next song. And then also too, we'll take a look at a few applications and services just to see if there's anything newer with this update. So we'll take a look at home, lock screen, camera, the gallery, and the secure folder. So before this thing updates, how about I show you what the charging animation looks like beforehand. So it says the word charging, the lightning bolt, and then the percent. After this, it's not going to say charging. It's just going to have the lightning bolt and the percentage. And then if I was to play music from right here, there is no icon on the top for me to interact with it. So I can't just tap on it and do all of these things here that the widget allows me to do. So the update is done and complete. So how about we first take a look at the charging animation. So we finally officially have the newest version of Samsung One UI 7 on the Galaxy S25 series. So this is the new charging animation. Again, I think it's beautiful. Once you put it right on in there, it's just gonna be some color, a lightning bolt, and the number. Now, if we were to hit play right up over here, that means I'd be able to get rid of this widget because I don't need it to be there. Uh, once I put in my earbuds, my music plays automatically. It's one of the routines that I set up. So in this way, I'd be able to go right up over here and I'd be able to do all of the navigations, the plays and the pause and the thumbs up that you see right here. So this was like my biggest gripe was that we didn't have this. So now I'd be able to press and hold and finally remove that widget. Now, just remember when you have this up on the very top, you can tap on it. It's going to make it bigger. You're able to interact with everything that you see right here on the screen. Also, this will be as your little now bar that has always been there from the get-go, uh, you know, from the beginning of Samsung One UI 7, even with this device. You can tap it, make it bigger, do all that cool stuff. If we go inside, unlock the phone, it's also gonna be right up there on the very top. And just so you know, it's not just for music. It is basically a media player. So it'll be the same thing for even YouTube. So if I was to minimize this, you'll see the icon right up over here that I'm able to interact with it. So I got the pause and I got the next and everything. Even if I was to go down here and if I was to hit on this little X, it's gonna show right up over there because it's one of those things that is still kind of in the background. It's a recent application that's still sitting there. So even though I closed out of that minimized screen, I can still go right up over here then I can hit on play and I'm able to listen to it. Now I do have YouTube premium. So that is why I'm able to still listen to a video even if it's closed, but Nonetheless, this one is a media live notifications. Now, one more thing that you'll also notice is up here on the top right hand side, not only just on your main page, but also when you pull down the notifications panel, there's actually two things. First off, that big oval, it's pretty big and fat. I kind of wish that we used this version right here. It's slightly smaller, even though people maybe want it to be larger to see whatever percentage their battery is. But this one is what I feel to be slightly bigger than before especially when you compare it versus the notifications page, you can see how much smaller it is. 
Now, the other thing you'll notice is this icon here. This is letting you know which applications is using your location services. So if you tap on this, it'll let you know it's being used by, well, these two applications I have, which is Pikmin Bloom and Pokemon Go. So now that we took a look at what was new and what I was waiting for, how about we take a look at a few applications and services? So let's see if we have a newer version of the home screen after this update. And uh, before the update was 16.0.0.2.1. 16.0.0.2.1, so no new version there. We'll also take a look at the camera. So for the camera, before the update, we were at 15.0.0.1.71, and we're still the exact same version there. I also want to take a look at the secure folder just to see if there was a newer version. Secure folder was 1.9.30.52, so 1.9.30.52, so the same thing there. I also want to take a look over at the lock screen, and as you can see right there, that icon means that there is some applications from the Galaxy Store that is being updated right now. I know before this update, I took a look at it and I had like seven or eight sitting inside of there. And some of them was from today and some was from yesterday. So if you haven't taken a look at your Galaxy Store for a minute, you might wanna take a look at it. So let's go to the lock screen. I wanna see if there's a newer version for this one. So before the update, it was 88255. This one is 882813. So we do have a new version of the One UI lock screen. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the gallery. So before this update, it was uh, 15.6.0.0.6.1. This is 15.6.0.0.6.3. So that means that we have a new version of lock screen and we have a new version of gallery. So take a look at the software information. Again, Samsung One UI 7, Android 15. The Google Play system update is on April 1st. We have April 1st security patch, so everything is looking fine and dandy for that screen. Uh, nothing to complain about. Now, we took a look at this from beforehand on my past video about five days ago, but if you didn't watch that video, then this is uh, pretty much what covered the updates for April in the background that you don't see on the phone. Now, when it comes down to the Google updates, which is everything on the top, you have four of them that are critical and then 34 that are high, but there are a few of them that are not applicable to Samsung devices, but they are to the Google Pixel devices. So there's one, two, three, four, five, which means five um, is not pertaining to Samsung phones. So that means that we're down to 29 that is affecting our devices of Samsung. Now, when it comes down to the Samsung updates, which is again, the Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures, there has been 21 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And underneath here, 15 of them has been listed. So there's stuff that's going on with the sticker center, the clipboard service. Uh, let's see here, Samsung contacts, looks like a uh, Galaxy Watch, device health manager service, and then a few additionals down over here. So that is part of this update here that you see of that 700 and some megabytes. A lot of that is dealing and coming from Google and Samsung, which usually is about 300, 400 megabytes, just this stuff alone. So this one being a little bit above 700 megabytes, that's where the other stuff comes into play, such as the new charging animation, you have your live notifications for your media player, and then also the new version of your lock screen and gallery. Now, don't forget, you wanna go inside of your Galaxy Store just to see what is sitting in here. Now, beforehand, before this update, I know for a fact, yep, there we go, we still have a few of them sitting there. So there was some that still was updating, even though I still see the majority of them here. So some of these are from today, some of these are from yesterday, some are from the 26th. So all I'm gonna do is just update these ones. So now we are at the latest updated versions for these applications. And if you saw up there, one of them was the Samsung keyboard, which is a pretty big one. So that is all that I wanted to cover in today's video. If you own a Samsung Galaxy S25 series device, more than likely it got updated either right now today as you watching this video or yesterday, or it's gonna to come tomorrow for you. Especially for anybody who owns a unlocked device with AT&T SIM, or an AT&T carrier locked phone, because I know for a fact that that was this update right here. And then five days ago was the one for T-Mobile. Don't know for a hundred percent fact for Verizon and some of the others, but hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. I did my best. If you guys did give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.